Yeah. I travel and uh, I watch movies and uh, inspired me. Uh, my favorite landscape architect basically is I like to contemplate with that. Um, uh, Jeffrey Bauer and uh, I like uh, I like to contemplate in his garden expression in Sri Lanka and, uh, and I found that uh, the material that he's been using uh, basically is is very uh, suitable for our kind of sustainability and <coughs> recycle. Therefore, in 1997, I got a chance to come to this area uh, and I found the old building and equally I fell in love with the architecture uh, and the interior design and the details and the history behind this area and at the same time also the building itself. Um, Old China Cafe started in 1997. Um, it used to be a laundry, uh, Solano Laundry Association. This is used to be a field house to um, host all the members from Solano and throughout the whole nation. And uh, if they come to Kuala Lumpur, this is basically is that we stop. And at the same time, due to the land act control in years of 2000, so uh, they have to they have to let go their penalty agreement. And uh, me and my partner, uh, we were there to look at a piece of beer, which is a function here you know, in uh, traditionally for uh, traditional houses, uh, shop houses. So, and uh, immediately we fell in this neighborhood. And before that, we did some, uh, we're dealing with some antique Chinese furniture. Um, and we think that this is a very suitable place to start with a cafe. So, uh, okay. that's how Old China Cafe started in 1997. From there we branched to Malacca, Penang, Central Market, and uh, yeah. What inspired you to start this Nyonya business? Because it's a heritage and uh, in 1997 basically when we talked about Peranakan food, Peranakan food literally uh, to a lot of locals, especially from Malacca, Penang, Singapore. Mm. It's a home cook. It's a home cook. It's a home cook company. So, uh, therefore, uh, we so happened that to restore uh, the old houses on the Jonker streets. And uh, our caretaker is so happened that it's a very good cook. So from there, she inspired us a lot and we decided to start our business in KL with Nona Food. And Nona Food is, is, is also uh, a fusion food. If you will look at like 500 years ago, uh, it's a blend of uh, local, west, east, or uh, you know, so it had its own character in it with a uh, local cooking ingredient and uh, the spices. Yeah, uh, obstacle is you have to deal with uh, basically obstacle. Yeah, you have to because it's not easy to uh, to open a business is easy. and uh, to, to sustain the business is not easy. At the same time, if you happen to walk into Old China Cafe, 
it's because it's an, in an old building, it's a pre-war building. Um, we are proud to say that up until today, the interior and the structures, you know, it doesn't change. Okay. When you open the swing door, it's just like you track in the time capsule. And uh, you, you, you will dine in with the old antique furniture and you have uh, the opportunity to, uh, to appreciate the atmosphere which is the uh, old days charm. So, um, the obstacle is highly maintainable, especially when you're dealing with old stuff, it's really highly maintained. And, uh, the antique furniture, the wall is fragile and or sometimes it's warps. Yeah, and you need to restore back to the original conditions. And uh, and you have to you have to compete with uh, with with whatever outside is trendy outside. But uh, after so many years, it's going to be out. So are we still there. This means that you know, uh, preserving the culture is correct. It's a correct part for us to continue our business. At the same time, it's also because um, we attract a lot of uh, locals and uh, tourists, customers to come here. It's because uh, this area has a lot of history. If a place that has a lot of history as a background. Um, it's more charming compared to a new area that you're just being built. So, old China Park is actually. It's old China Park. Old China Park is actually inspired by this avenue. Sorry? The name of this restaurant is actually because of this avenue. Old China Cafe is created uh, from our travel experiences and uh, our culture background. We like uh, we like old Oriental charm, and that's how we like uh, the old Oriental charm elements inside our China. And uh, there's no way uh, if you're talking about the old time charms, basically, uh, it's <coughs> uh, irreplaceable. May I know who is the founder of the cafe? Me. Um, and the other partner is uh, yeah, and my partner, two, two persons. Uh, may I know the name? Uh, Johnny Wong. Johnny Wong. Yeah. And Leonard T. Leonard T. So, may I know what's the rough job of this business? We have a yeah. very humble start. <laughs> Uh, basically, we start uh, the business with very minimal capital uh, because there is not an intention to, to start the, business, the cafe business because we have our own professions. And now I'm doing full time. How many employees and branch do you have? We have about 20, uh, 30. 30 employees, yeah. both, both restaurants. The branch we have it in Precious, Old China, yeah, which is in Central Market. And the other one is in Penang. It's not open yet, but Penang. Our Malacca, we didn't keep it anymore. Why is it the name as old China Cafe? It's an old time charm and it's suitable to Padang Street. This is Padang Street. So it represents a Chinese. And when you step into the cafe, basically from the background music and the food itself, it, it reflects, the name it reflects the identity. What is the specialty of this cafe? The whole time job. <coughs> How often do you release new products? How often do you release new products? Uh, yeah, every year. How do you promote the business? Mm, we promote the business.
this is through uh, new media now. So what is the last amount of the uh, customer to give them for this one? How many? How many? Uh, I would say it depends on the season. Yeah. Very much depends on the season because we are attracted to a lot of uh, foreign foreigners or foreign tourists. So basically it depends on uh, normally summers. Uh, it depends on which outlet. Oh, this China, the whole China cafe. Um, mix. Mix. Mix of the whole China cafe. What is the hardest shock you face in this business? What is my one? Hardest struggle. 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 Uh. Focus. Yeah. Servicing. Because uh, this is a service line. Uh, uh, workers basically are the most uh, difficult things to do here with. And uh, once you train people, they they do the game with right. Despite how good you are. So this can be provided for customers besides serving food and Service? Yeah, services. Yeah, services. Besides food? No. It's a restaurant, so... Yeah. I don't do massage. <laughs> so does the GSP affect your cafe sales? No. Because all this while we've been... Uh, due to the liquor license, it's subjected to a government tax from day one because we have the legal license and uh, uh, right now it's just matter of there's no government tax is changed into uh, GST. Can you name the top three computers around this area? Me, me, me. <laughs> No, every, every business has its own answer. As strong you are long and know what you're doing, uh, I don't treat competitors as competitors. There's a lot of food store and uh, there's a lot of restaurant around here. So uh, the merit the better because why you need this area is decaying. The whole area is decaying, and you need more uh, outlets coming up uh, for to churn, to churn more visitors to come to this area. So it benefits everyone. So I don't treat them. I don't treat any outlets as. Mm. So where is the like strategy to stand up among them? Like, if you don't treat, like how to like. Better From a number of years we established until now, I think we have a better say. I'm not saying that we are very arrogant. I'm not saying I'm not arrogant. Uh, basically, we are here since 1997 until now. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The frequent customer. And we're talking about frequent, frequent customers, yes. Are there any changes in the room for the past five years? For five, past five years, yeah. Change stuff. You're getting a better stuff. So, where do you see your business in the next day? 
Where did I see my business? We don't know. Because <coughs> with uh, the new uh, hub of the MRT stations coming up, uh, the rentals might, might get uh, increasingly high. We can't help. Yeah. And uh, because to sustain, to take care of the whole building is not easy. Do you consider your business as successful? Yes. Can you further elaborate? We have been listed in uh, most of the travel magazine and we have been listed in 1,000 places you have to visit before you die. So is this considered successful? Yes. <laughs> so do you consider being a business and international? No, I don't have a uh, big ambition. It's called and it's really good, especially What is your rough and what's your I'm not going to discuss it. So why did you why they would choose your business like this? In KL? Because KL has uh, potential and uh, it's the capital of of, uh, of uh, Malaysia. If you, it's not because of a lot of Chinese, you have more. Uh, you have certain people to appreciate certain things. I cannot set up my business. This type of business more more you in Kelantan. I cannot set up in uh, in Kelantan because the numbers of uh, the visitor is not enough to sustain the business. And furthermore, to showcase our culture and heritage at the same time, we also need to make money to sustain the business. Mm, does it require to any knowledge or skills for a business like this? Yes, patience. You don't give up. Is there any advice for me that you want to start this business? Don't come in. <laughs> it's a hard work. I've gone through that, or else I will sit here and talk to you. Don't go in for business unless you are not. Because if you are not physically, mentally, you are not prepared, basically, you know, it's going to drain your, your energy away. And uh, you probably everyone has a dream to open a cafe, but. Eventually, it's not an easy task. You know, from those days, from purchasing, cooking, and uh, training, serve the customer, I have to do it. Because the skill of the business is not enough for us to hire more people. I was talking about like 15 years ago. Yeah. Mm, since you just mentioned before that, uh, you don't feel confident about this, right? Mm. So, um, will you adjust your pricing uh, from time to time? Yeah, annually. Did I answer your last questions yes. or the early questions?
mentioned before, you released a new product in Hulu, right? Sorry? You released a new product in Hulu, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, in what terms do you release? Like, dishes? Uh? Dishes. Uh, local dishes? Uh, local dishes. Uh, because it's Nonya, so you can't go far from there. I can't really, uh, I can't launch a Western or Chinese unrelated uh, subject to my my strong. It had to be uh, subject related. So you step in whole China cafe, you won't, you won't see chicken chop. Or else I call it Nonya chicken chop. But it's still very thick. There's Nonya, there's no chicken chop. Okay, only Hainanese chicken chop. And I couldn't have a uh, stick there because in the, in the old days, basically, uh, they, they don't serve stick in the house unless it's a special cooking. So, we're talking about Nonya food, basically, it's a home cooking food. It's just how are you doing? It's how we uh, elevate it to the, uh, to the uh, restaurant business. It's because, uh, one of the things is just because I grew up with this uh, culture and uh, I know the food better. It's all in my memory. That's, uh, therefore, I share, I share it with uh, people in 1997. Mm. Do you have? Particular food for yourself to not give up something like that. Particular food? Yeah, just cooking for yourself, a noodle.